Well, now that you know what I said was a spoiler, everybody dies at the end. I fucking told you guys. I told you, I told you, I told you. I knew it would happen. Oh my God. Amazing. And this is the spoiler review. If you didn't read the title or the thumbnail, this is a spoiler review. So if I spoiled it for you, I gave you ample warning. Um, anyway, let's get straight into it. Uh, on the spoiler free review, I said that basic, basically what I went over summary wise was that this, this movie was definitely different. It focused heavily on, I feel like the emotions and perspectives of both the empire and the rebel Alliance. Um, so, other than that, it wasn't, it was definitely a slow start, but like I said in the other review, it needed to focus on the characters and I appreciate it because everybody fucking died and they wanted to get you attached to these characters and doing uh, the typical like 70s, 80s style action movie with the funny little quotes and the little uh, stuff like that is not going to get you too attached to the characters after just one movie. So I feel like they definitely needed to spend that first half hour or so getting you involved in the characters and getting you emotionally attached to them and their backstories and seeing where they come from so that basically when the end hits it has more of an impact on you rather than just like oh they died um but yeah fucking amazing movie didn't really care for the music too much but i mean fucking uh saw Guerrero. i can't believe he died he had such a small part in this movie uh especially for as much as they showed him in the trailer i don't know i kind of had a feeling in the back of my head though that that was gonna happen i definitely knew he was gonna die uh just because i knew they would give him a closing the way he went it was it was still kind of sad i was just watching and just like oh man i i knew it was coming and just like he's saw Guerrero is gone he has left us chinuit was Probably my favorite character. I wish he was in Battlefront instead of Jin Erso. Chinuit was amazing and, and just his whole being with the Force. He was entertaining to watch and at the same time it was just, I don't know, I got so attached to him I feel like the most, which is weird because he wasn't really too much of a main character but he was just so spiritual and then like just all of that it just got me more attached to him than anyone else in the movie. Um, and. You know, they were the last guardians of the Kyber of the temple and on Jeda. And so, you know, they were like the last guardians of the Jedi. They still believed in, in guarding the Jedi temple and everything or the, the Kyber crystal temple. Um, so it was just sad to see him go for, for me personally. But uh, who else? Grand Moff Tarkin looked amazing. Uh, it was amazing how they recreated him like that. I was so shocked. Um, and then just everything about the movie was, was pretty good. I just enjoyed it so much, especially the last battle with Scarif. Definitely had the Return of the Jedi influence with the, uh, <laughs> Admiral Akbar, but not really him. And, uh, just all of that, all the TIE fighters, the whole space battle was definitely influenced by Return of the Jedi. I feel like some of the same lines were even being said half the time. Uh, and, and some of the same, like, uh, scenes, like, swirling around in his commander's chair and everything like that is just, the Star Destroyer is disabled. All of that, just, that was heavily influenced. And I, I didn't have a problem with that, you know? I, I really didn't. And uh, Darth Vader, I wish he had a bigger part. I did love his ending scene i feel like they reshot though and cut a lot of his scenes that he would have had a lot of the fight scenes but his ending scene was badass we did find I, i'm i'm happy with what they gave us because that that shit was so cool just he was all in the hallway just oh my god deflecting choking push like just oh my god tossing them aside like rag dolls and i love how it led directly into leia having the plans and uh, on Tantive 4. My only thing is like how did R2 get on Tantive 4 with C-3PO because last we knew about I mean I guess you can assume that they went on the ship but why last we saw them they were on Yavin 4. A lot of these little easter eggs I like how Bale mentioned uh, you know Obi-Wan Kenobi and everything and how he was gonna send basically Leia to go get the Death Star plans and K2SO it was sad to see him die he I, I don't know why I just I I liked him too he was he was awesome but yeah you saw Grand Moff Tarkin and take over the Death Star and everything like that. That was that was pretty cool, which led into that uh, in A New Hope on why he was the Death Star commander. Uh, obviously, Krennic was was going to die. We knew that. I'm kind of glad Jin didn't kill, wasn't the one to kill him. It was kind of our 
ironic and obviously it was on purpose but it was kind of good the way he died to his own creation like that was pretty that was pretty cool and it was definitely a moving sentiment um but darth vader's few scenes i enjoyed james earl jones voice on that was freaking on point back to the original movies he just sounded so good especially compared to his recent clone wars one i was kind of worried i was like well because clone wars i wasn't it was a little bit off for me for clone wars i don't know about anyone else but he sounded just a little bit off it didn't sound like he was fully into it uh but this one he definitely sounded perfect as darth vader like he was back 30 years ago, 40 years ago now, holy shit. I mean, yeah, it was definitely different the way they traveled to all these different planets and stuff like that. Uh, I like seeing G, I like seeing Jita with all the Jedi references and everything like that. That was pretty, that was pretty cool. The Jedi statue there and all that. And it's ironic that obviously Saw Guerreras uh, picked that place, of course, to uh, make his, his final home, his final base. Uh, and that's where he chose to stop running. And you know, I feel like it had just, a good message for uh you know the whole theme of the rebellion was just like Jin Erso kind of turned herself into that hope because they're they you know the rebel council was going to just abandon it they didn't want to do it they didn't want to fight a death star they didn't want to fight a planet killer it's just they were going to give up and Jin Erso displayed the hope that everyone needed by just going on the mission to Scarif alone uh with a ragtag team of just people who volunteered and I just that rep to me that represented the whole idea of the rebellion and all of that and you know she just i don't know i couldn't really she wasn't a favorite of mine but i feel like she did embody the rebel personality the what you want out of the rebel i feel like she definitely represented the rebellion uh in this movie especially towards the end obviously at the beginning she wasn't too uh big of a fan of the rebels or the empire she just wanted to live her life just ignore everything and live her life but uh Bail Organa was a nice addition to this movie, and Mon seeing Mon Mothma was awesome too, and uh, a few other cameos, R2-D2 and C-3PO popped up for like a second, that was, that was pretty funny. I, I still think Darth Vader for me was, was a pretty cool scene, I was waiting all movie for that, I was just waiting, and I mean he was just ruthless. Uh, I fucking hate how they threw in the emperor trick though uh with that guy dressed up like the emperor and then it turns out to just be some damn servant acolyte thing that was stupid i was i was like is, that, is he really gonna be in here the emperor oh my god that was so i wish they didn't do that because that was just false hype right there that was all false hype but yeah chinuit was a badass him and Baze were just badass as fuck i mean honestly they were like the core fighters the imperial pilot i don't really get i wasn't a fan of him he to me, he felt useless in this movie for the most part, besides literally his final task and and knowing the docking codes and procedures. But other than that, the, he just felt useless. He wasn't funny to me. He wasn't... I just feel like he had no role in this movie for the most part. I feel like this, this movie could have went without the Imperial pilot, but, you know, whatever. Other than that, yeah, like I said, great movie. Chinuit was a... Oh, Chinuit was just knocking the Stormtroopers out of the way. Uh, those Death Troopers were freaking awesome in combat uh krennic was every bit as much of a genius tarkin was so ruthless it's it's good to see tarkin in this movie i felt like they got a chance to portray all these people that they couldn't before tarkin darth vader they got a chance to portray them in a lot different light than they did in the original trilogy and i feel like that is something we all deserved so this movie was great it's sad that everyone died but they died in such amazing ways like chinuit's um fucking uh i'm one with the force and the force is with me when he was saying that in his final moments and and stuff like I, I almost had i had tears when he was when he went down i was just like oh man i that put me in tears i was like shit and then Baze started saying it i was like oh man <sighs> that it was beautiful and k k2 so's death was beautiful and i mean jen's uh cassius and the pilots weren't that big on me for their death scenes but you know it was it was good but this whole movie really showed off a lot of stuff and filled out a lot of holes uh between what happened between episode right the events right before episode four so uh, i feel like this movie did a good job at what it aimed to do and i feel like this movie was still fun while while filling in plot holes and while getting attached to these characters i feel like the movie was just still fun so 
that's that's my spoiler review of this movie i enjoyed it i hope you guys did too uh i definitely feel like it was a good movie so and like i said darth vader scene to me was just fucking awesome just bam smashing rebels all over the place just effortlessly my only problem with that was i wish he would have just grabbed the rebel that was running and pulled him back the one that had the plans to the death star i wish he would have just pulled him back because he could have done that but it other than that other than that little problem i had you know great movie great movie so uh that's that's my spoiler review and i'll see you guys next time